At the number three spot, we have a character from Persona 5. I have to choose. <laughs> but I have no, to choose carefully no. who to choose to be a waifu character. Don't drink see. anything he gets you. I was gonna say Anta Kamaki, or maybe Makoto, uh, Nijima, or oh. Haru o Okumura. These people always like Makoto for some reason. Makoto is so boring and annoying. And she's also, you know, 16. There's actually one character I like the most because she's actually uh, a computerist. Like, she's on the computer sometimes, basically. She still has to play video games as I do. She's a gamer like me. She's a gamer like me. What am I talking about, you ask? I'm talking about another other than Futaba Soccer. This bitch smells so bad. I said it before, I'll say it again. This bitch nasty. Have you heard about this? The stuff they're saying about gamers? It's insane. What? Yeah. The reason why I like Futaba soccer is because, well... I like the idea of Sojiro being like, Ah, Futaba, so you're dating that obese adult man. <laughs> I still consider Futaba Sakura as a waifu to me, okay? I like her hair, I like her glasses she wears, and she also she's also funny most of the times. So and she's also being a computer uh, computerist, and you, you can say what you wrote, she's a computer geek, I don't care. But basically, Futaba Sakura is what makes me... What makes me like her so much about you know and she's fun you know what we call this chat we call this a minor threat <laughs> sometimes even in persona 5 strikers the game there's a cutscene where she does when she does this with her persona like and a boop <laughs> oh my gosh oh futaba people really do be like way, this futaba sakura she kind of reminds me of another character i think she's from the nintendo game oh yeah inkling girl Basically, same same girl, both both minors. <laughs> I, all right, this is my bias, but don't let people like this dissuade you from playing Persona. The games are good. The games are very good. But Tama Sakura, I will always Children. consider you as a waifu, no questions asked, and that's why. He is always squinting because the density of his forehead and his cheeks are applying great pressure to his eyes, so much so that he cannot open them widely. Why? Because he is a big potato man. He is a large orb. He is a Dragon Quest slime looking ass nigga. You will always will be my favorite character of all time from the Persona 5 series. Persona 5 was a mistake. Majin Buu <laughs> Oh, Average stupid hater. Uh, okay, I, I don't know if Oh, sticks the badger! <laughs> Cosmos? I'm going to unlock her as a playable part. All right, we gotta we gotta get to his number one. We got we'll go through his honorable mentions. Cosmos is just because he likes robot city. And by the way, people say her name wrong. They always say like like Cosmos or Cosmos, whatever. It's Cosmos. It's Cos Cosmos. Can you get her name right? Her name is Cosmos, not Cosmos. I swear to God. Bro is so fucking furious about the mispronunciation of a Xeno Saga character's name. Christ. Seriously. But people are always going to mispronounce her name, and that's fine. But like I said, Cosmos will always will be a great character of all time from the Xeno Saga series and as a playable character in Xeno Blade Chronicles 2. No questions asked. No questions asked. But yeah. Caveman Angie. Sorry, Cave sorry, Angie. Young, but these are my opinions. We're finally, get, we're finally going to get to the number one spot. It's actually another Nintendo character. Oh, but what a surprise. Before we get to what the number one spot, my favorite number one pick waifu character of all time. Okay, lay it on us. Here are some few honorable mentions. I also want to consider Sticks the Badger as a waifu character. Oh, what a famous last words. She's also tomboy. She has a great, she also holds that boomerang a lot and as sure. a weapon, her trainer weapon. It was actually amazing. And you can call me crazy all you want, but I like Sticks the Badger because she's from Sonic Boom. I, I like her design. She kind of reminds me of Marina Raccoon a little bit from the Sonic series. But that's what makes her special. In fact, I still Bad. consider Sticks the Badger as a waifu as well, a furry waifu. And of course, oh, she's 16. Because Sonic, uh, does Amy Sonic Rose. care about Amy Rose? Most of the times, Amy Rose just chases him, but basically, Sonic completely ignores her. I'm asexual, Amy. I'm asexual. I, I know what you guys are going to say in the costume. Like, oh, Amy Rose, she's nothing more than a, a useless or basically annoying character. 
I mean, have no fear, Amy Rose is here, but Sonic's based for going like, uh, no way, thought. Annoying character or not, Just I still feel bad for Amy Rose. Here. In fact, if she had a crush on other boys besides Sonic, like maybe a human person, like that like one episode me? with, uh, with uh, Chris Dornick's uh, uncle, what's his name? Speed Sam, I don't know, Uncle Sam, whatever, if that's his name. Yeah, Sam. Um, that's actually, that'll be amazing. Fake Sonic fan doesn't even know the name of a ancillary character from Sonic X, Fringe. You no, know, but, you know, I wouldn't mind going on dates <laughs> with Amy Rose most of the time. We gotta make, we gotta make the SSG playlist. Yeah, it would be 17 by Wigger. Children, what's that, what's that fucking song by Tyga? Uh, Stimulated by Tyga, where he's talking about a 16 year old. Little Girls by Oingo Boingo. The list goes on. It'd be a good minor grooming playlist for this guy. Times, if she was real as well. In fact, I hate it how people treat her like complete utter guards, especially when it comes to fan base. Guptil crushed it. She didn't do nothing to you guys. Guptil. And you consider Amy Rose as an annoying character? Based you on say Uncle she Sam. actually sucks? In the words of Reggie Fils May, what's wrong with you? <laughs> In the words of Reggie Fils May, who would probably say, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm joking, but seriously, please hey, don't Kelly spread song. hateful. The entirety of age ain't nothing but a number of groomer bangers. In fact, I would treat Amy Rose better. Unlike Sonic, who doesn't treat her good. Her she, he does nothing but ignore her. I mean, he still saves her most of the time, but I would do my best to protect her as well. White EDP. Amy Rose, if it was real, I would. Uh, basically, I actually was here for a cupcake. Protect basically. you and I would treat you better as well. I hate how Sonic keeps ignoring you most of the times. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, this man killing me with the taste. <laughs> because she has a big, well, you know, a body part. Basically, her, um, basically. Chat. Chat, witness this. Chat, witness this. Chat. Come on. All right. Make it a banger. We finally get to our number one fair waifu character of all time. And originally I was going to include only one per franchise, but I decided to include two Nintendo waifu characters instead of just one. So I had to include it. A super heavy weapons guy. Good to see this guy is 28 years old as of this video. He's probably closer to 29 or 30 now. This is the last one. Number one is a character from Fire from the Fire Emblem series. Now I know what you're going to ask. Is it actually that character named Charlotte or something? Is that, if that's her name? No, it's not her. Come is on, it Hinoka? Adult. Come on, adult. It's not her either. And please, for goodness sake, no, goodness I don't sake. consider Violet as a, a female version of a waifu. Though she's part of the honorable mentions, I'll consider her that. But it's not Violet. It's actually a sexy, hot girl who can wheel an axe. And, oh, she, okay. flies on a, and she flies on a fire breathing dragon. Oh, okay. And she's from Nor. The Norian Kingdom. Number one is, that's right, Camilla. Oh, from man. Fire Emblem Fates and also fire, from Fire, fire Emblem Wars Emblem. as well. Fire My Emblem. God, just look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Hi. Damn, bitch, you looking bad. God damn. What? Oh shit, you got a dragon, bitch. Okay, I see you. I see you, girl. Okay, shit. Hair, it's like her hair is really hot and it's beautiful. It's 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 amazing. Any like I said emblem, earlier, any Fire Emblem Chads in chat? How how old is she? Is she an adult? I I don't know anything about Fire Emblem. She looks like an adult. Just like the other curse I mentioned, I consider this one as a wife. Okay. Trust me. So that's that's what two adults out of ten. Good lord. Give me. I've been a fan of of Camilla ever since Fire Emblem Fates came out. I chose Nor. In fire on fire emblem faces because well i like her looks <laughs> i like her looks and you can look at her you know what jigs whatever i don't want to talk about but it's like she it's makes me want to want to go to be like a simp person this but user is it's the not stream that. joiner but camilla 
It's actually a perfect choice for the number one spot. Test. And I would care if people said, oh, Camilla is also nothing. She may be a cult person, but she also likes to go psychotic, too. We're talking Camilla here. She's not psychotic. She doesn't go, yeah, dare like the other characters. No. Camilla's actually calm. But when she says she wants to, like, hurt somebody, all she has to do is, is to talk to the Nord person, maybe Corrin, and let him or her know if she wants to take care of them. But for this case, I'll tell Camilla, no, don't hurt, don't hurt any enemies. You guys, you guys are not going to be laughing. Like, one of these streams, I'm just going to go like, Hey guys, so, uh, turns out I have a urinary condition. Uh, my doctor said that I only have a couple of weeks left, and I just want to say thank you for everything. It's going to be a black screen. You guys aren't going to laugh when that shit happens, okay? Okay.